What's up everyone? This is Jono here. I hope you guys are all keeping well. Uh, you're playing, you're staying safe, playing safe, uh, and you're boosting hard. I um, want to run through the Garrett Boost Advisor app. Um, don't know if you guys have maybe used it before, but it's quite a nice little tool that allows you to select a turbo based on various horsepower targets. And they normally recommend like quite a nice spread of turbos. So um, yeah, let's get into it. I might, might also might want to add um, a lot of guys go for the TDO fours. Um, I do know the GTX twenty eight sixty works miracles with a Starlet one point three or Corolla one point three engine and bigger size engine. All right, let's check in our numbers. Our two hundred horsepower. Displacement 1.4. We can't go lower. Just bear that in mind. Unfortunately, it won't recommend anything for you if you go 1.3 or 1.4 and below. Okie dokie, at end, cooler, zero altitude. If you've got altitude, obviously set that differently. Um, and in the UK, the average temperature is 10 degrees C. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like that in Western Europe. Um, yeah, uh, 7,000 RPM. Um, and I think we're ready to go. Okay, so we've got 200 horsepower and we've got two odd bar of, sorry, 1.3 bar of boost because our pressure ratio is 2.38. Okay, that's cool. So it'll be 1.38 bar at max horsepower. They recommend the GBC22 350, small frame turbos, of course, and then the 300. Um, we'll just open those maps quick. Yeah, that's quite a good match. It intersects it almost like dead through the middle and through that efficiency island. So on both turbos for 200 horsepower, that's yeah, that's a good game. Um, I suspect they're going to be quite expensive, so we could maybe look at some of the range from the GT series. So if you can bear with me, we'll just dig down to some of those turbos. They're again, small frames. So like the 2052, the 2260, I think, and then the 2560. But yeah, we'll just uh, run through it yet. So the 2052, they use them on the Saab turbos, two liter. Uh, the GT 2252s, I think in the three liter BMWs, diesels. Um, and then the GT, 2560R. So let's just quickly look at those as well as viable alternatives to those newer additions to Garrett's range. Uh, yeah, so we've got up to from 140 to 230 for the GT 2052. Next one, we've got 150 to 260 for the GT 2252. So that's kind of competing with a TDO4. Um, and I think this one's also the same as like a TDO4, but you've got up to 270 horses. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you those alternatives because they're pushing for the newer ones that have just come out. Um, all right, let's check it out another one, man. Uh, so let's go for 250. Displacement again, 1.4. Four valves per cylinder, pump gas, air to air intercooler, uh, zero altitude, especially where I am. I'm, I'm, I'm probably about 100 feet above sea level. Uh, RPM, what's the magic number? No, 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 not 4,500. I confused that with the mid range. Come on, 7,500. One turbocharger. And then again, 10 degrees Celsius, average UK and Western Europe temperatures. All right, let's see what happens. Come on, Mr. Garrett, man. Okay, pressure ratio, one. Okay, cool. So we still got the same small frame turbos that we came up with on the 200 horsepower mark. But you'll note the mid-range to the high end, um, it's just been sort of moved up the boost range. So if you look at like where it sits on the pressure ratio, it's the same, the same straight line, but it's just been pushed up. So it just means there's higher boost. 
Um, anything pressure ratio, like for instance, you're approaching three on pressure ratio on the top end. That just means like two bar on the boost gauge. Um, that's how you read your pressure ratio is you minus one and you'll get your boost. Yeah, so I mean effectively almost the same again. This is the GT2860R, um, which is actually also quite nice because it intersects the efficiency island. And you're sitting at like about 1.7, 1 1.8 bar boost. Okie dokie, let's check out the 300 horsepower mark. What can what turbos do you think they're going to give us for 300 horsepower? Blah blah blah, same old stuff. Okay, only changes I put a water to air intercooler there this time. Um, I'm, I'm upping the rev, rev to 8000. Let's hit it. Okie dokie, so what have we got? We've got two bar on the on the boost gauge at max RPM, so that's all right. That means our pressure ratio is three, as it says there. Okie dokie. So 2860R, but we're closing on the choke point. But we'll open up. We'll open that up in a second to look at it. Oh, and then here's a nice one. Uh, the G25550. It's also recommending. Um, that's quite a nice little turbo. That's small frame. It's like uh, yeah, obviously the it's like the old GT2528 size uh, frame. So yeah. Okie dokie, so that is the 25550. It intersects beautifully in the efficiency island, so that's pretty nice. It's a little bit high, but you know, it's all good, no one's perfect. And you'll be just like over two bar boost at full at full power. This is going to be touching on three bar, but you're also hitting the choke point. So if you go any higher on boost or altitude, you're going to suffer with that turbo. You'll hit the choke point. Okay, let's also look at the 400. Let's see what Garrett says for 400 horsepower. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Same old, same old as we know. Okay, I'll put in 10,000 just for various things just to decrease the boost ratio. So that is a bit of a change. Not many of you guys will do a 10,000 RPM, but this is how to make it work for Garrett. Okie dokie, now we're going a bit bigger. So I've got the G30 size uh, turbo, the G3660. Um, that's a nice little package there. And then we've also got the G25 660. So both both sort of frame sizes are the same. I think the only difference there is the actual exhaust. So between the G25 660 and the G30 660 is just the intake impeller. Like that's the difference. The exhaust um, impellers and things stay the same. Yep, so that works quite nice. Um, yeah. That's that's also just cut, it intersects the um, that island of efficiency, and you're sitting at two and a half bar boost at top end, yeah, you know, for both turbos. So yeah, you're going to be pushing them, and, and especially this one, you're approaching the choke point, but you're in the clear, man. Yeah. So um, again, guys, I really appreciate you uh, watching. So thanks, and see you later.